Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro, a name synonymous with footballing brilliance, unmatched work ethic, and an unwavering pursuit of greatness. But before the global fame, the countless trophies, and the adoring fans, there was a young boy on the Portuguese island of Madeira, dreaming of a life beyond the shores of his humble hometown. Born in the quaint parish of Santo Antonio, Funchal, Cristiano's childhood was a world away from the glitz and glamour that would later define his life. Raised in a working-class family, he learned the values of hard work, resilience, and family unity from a young age. These values, instilled in him during his formative years, would become the bedrock of his extraordinary journey. Cristiano's story is one of raw talent, unwavering determination, and an unquenchable thirst for success. It is a testament to the power of hard work and the belief in one's ability to overcome adversity and achieve the seemingly impossible. This is the story of how a boy from Madeira dared to dream and, against all odds, rose to become a global icon. Life in Santo Antonio was modest. Cristiano's family lived in a small house, a far cry from the luxurious mansions he would later call home. His father, Jose Denise Aveiro, worked as a kitman for a local football club, while his mother, Maria Dolores dos Santos Aveiro, toiled as a cook and cleaning lady, striving to provide for their four children. Despite their financial limitations, Cristiano's parents instilled in their children the importance of family, hard work, and chasing their dreams. The tight-knit community of Santo Antonio, with its steep cobbled streets and breathtaking views of the Atlantic, provided a nurturing environment where young Cristiano's passion for football began to blossom. Every spare moment was spent with a football at his feet, honing his skills on the dusty pitches of his neighborhood. Cristiano's natural talent was evident from the outset. He possessed an innate ability to control the ball, a powerful shot, and a drive to win that set him apart from his peers. Cristiano's family played a pivotal role in nurturing his passion for football. His father, despite his own struggles, would often take him to local matches, instilling in him a deep love for the beautiful game. His mother, a constant source of love and support, worked tirelessly to provide for her children, encouraging Cristiano to pursue his dreams wholeheartedly. His older brother Hugo and his two older sisters, Elma and Liliana Katia, also played a significant role in his upbringing. Family was everything to the Averos, and their unwavering support created a strong foundation upon which Cristiano's dreams could take flight. Evenings were often spent together, sharing stories, playing games, and strengthening the unbreakable bond they shared. It was in this loving and supportive environment that Cristiano's character was forged, instilling in him the values of humility, determination, and an unyielding belief in himself. From the moment he could walk, Cristiano was rarely seen without a football at his feet. It became an extension of himself, a source of joy, and an escape from the realities of their modest life. The streets of Santo Antonio transformed into his training ground, the uneven cobblestones his unforgiving coach. His father, recognizing his son's natural talent, encouraged him to join Andorinha, the local amateur club where he worked as a kit man. It was here, at the tender age of eight, that Cristiano's formal footballing journey began. The dusty pitch, nestled amidst the rolling hills of Madeira, became his sanctuary. Every training session, every match, was an opportunity to showcase his burgeoning talent. Cristiano's passion for the game was infectious, his dedication unwavering. He trained with a ferocity and determination that belied his young age, always striving to improve to push himself beyond his limits. Section 5. Early Steps on the Field. Raw Talent Meets Determination. Cristiano's talent was undeniable. His speed, agility, and natural ability to control the ball set him apart from other players his age. Word of his abilities spread quickly, 
and it wasn't long before Nacional, a larger club in Madeira, came calling. The move to Nacional marked a significant step in Cristiano's development. He thrived in the more competitive environment, his skills blossoming under the guidance of experienced coaches. He trained with an intensity and focus that impressed everyone around him, his determination to succeed burning brighter than ever. He led his team to victory, scoring goals with remarkable consistency and earning a reputation as a rising star in Madeiran football. His performances on the pitch were a testament to his natural talent, but it was his unwavering work ethic, his commitment to honing his craft, that truly set him apart. Section 6. Leaving Home – A Difficult Choice for a Budding Star At the age of 12, Cristiano faced a life-changing decision. His exceptional talent had not gone unnoticed, and Sporting CP, one of Portugal's biggest clubs, offered him a trial. However, accepting the offer meant leaving behind everything he knew and loved – his family, his friends, his island home. It was a heart-wrenching decision for a 12-year-old boy. The thought of leaving his family was unbearable, but the allure of pursuing his dreams, of testing himself against the best young players in Portugal, proved too strong to resist. With the unwavering support of his family, Cristiano boarded a plane to Lisbon, his heart filled with a mix of excitement, trepidation, and an unwavering determination to succeed. Leaving Madeira was the biggest sacrifice he had ever made, but it was a testament to his unwavering commitment to his dream. He carried with him the love of his family, the values instilled in him since childhood, and a burning desire to make them proud. Section 7. Sporting Lisbon. A new chapter. A new challenge. Arriving in Lisbon, a bustling metropolis a world away from the familiar comforts of Madeira, was a daunting experience for young Cristiano. The sprawling city, the unfamiliar faces, the heightened expectations of one of Portugal's most prestigious clubs. It was a lot for a teenager to process. He experienced intense homesickness yearning for the familiar embrace of his family, the comfort of his island home. Tears were shed, doubts crept in, but Cristiano never allowed himself to be consumed by the challenges. He channeled his emotions into his training, pushing himself harder than ever before. He dedicated himself to honing his skills, spending hours on the training ground, perfecting his technique, building his physique, transforming himself into a force to be reckoned with. Section 8. Overcoming Adversity, Homesickness and Determination The early days at Sporting Lisbon were a test of Cristiano's character. The club's academy, known for its rigorous training regime and high expectations, was a far cry from the dusty pitches of Madeira. He faced stiff competition from other talented youngsters, all vying for a place in the first team. But Cristiano thrived under pressure. He embraced the challenges, using them as fuel to propel himself forward. He trained with an intensity that astonished his coaches, his dedication to improving his game unwavering. He pushed past his limits, overcoming fatigue and self-doubt with sheer willpower. He knew that every training session, every practice match, was an opportunity to impress, to prove his worth, to inch closer to his dream of becoming a professional footballer. Section 9. Rising Through the Ranks Early Success and Recognition Cristiano's hard work and dedication did not go unnoticed. He rose through the ranks at Sporting Lisbon with remarkable speed, his performances on the pitch catching the eye of coaches and scouts alike. His exceptional ball control, blistering pace, and powerful shot made him a nightmare for defenders. At the age of 16, he made his debut for Sporting Lisbon's first team, becoming the club's youngest ever player to achieve this feat. It was a testament to his extraordinary talent and the culmination of years of hard work and sacrifice. His performances for Sporting Lisbon attracted interest from some of Europe's biggest clubs, but it was Manchester United under the guidance of Sir Alex Ferguson, who secured his signature in the summer of 2003. The boy from Madeira, who had dared to dream amidst the humble surroundings of Santo Antonio, was about to embark on a journey that would take him to the pinnacle of world football. Section 10. Conclusion. The Making of a Legend. 
Cristiano Ronaldo's journey from the streets of Madeira to the grandest stadiums in the world is a testament to the power of hard work, resilience, and an unwavering belief in one's abilities. His childhood, though marked by financial hardship, provided him with the values and the support system that would shape his extraordinary career. From the dusty pitches of Santo Antonio to the state-of-the-art training facilities of Sporting Lisbon, Cristiano's talent was undeniable. But it was his unwavering work ethic, his relentless pursuit of self-improvement, that truly set him apart. His story is an inspiration to aspiring athletes and dreamers worldwide, a testament to the fact that with hard work, dedication, and an unyielding spirit,